these are just some um, basic instructions on processing paperbacks and soft covers. And here are some supplies. Um, first supply is the tape sled. It's basically a special uh, tape applicator uh, to put tape on paperbacks. Uh, and then you've got the bones, and they're just little sticks that can be used to um, flatten out uh, tape on a paperback. Uh, to get out creases and bubbles and stuff like that. And there's a couple different kinds of them. And of course the books themselves. And these are anything that has a soft cover that doesn't um, doesn't have a hard cover, doesn't have a dust jacket, just regular old soft covers and paperbacks. Uh, the first thing to do is to find items that are ready on the cart. And we've got a separate cart for um for these items that we generally use sometimes we have them in other places though and that's a soft cover that that's got a full call number that's the distinction that we make uh, the paperbacks like this one have just pb that that call number is jpbs um so that's a so that's a paperback um first thing you're going to do is get the item on a tape sled um, you, the tape sled basically is used to slide the book in there so that when you put the tape on it doesn't go over the edge. And here's a couple of views of how that works, how that's supposed to, to work. You basically push the book all the way in there underneath the bar uh, and you line it up so that when the tape comes out it's going to cover all those labels like you see that, that barcode label on the back and there's a spine label on the bottom of the spine. So you want to make sure that all gets covered and that the book is, is in there good so that there isn't any overlapping of tape. Uh, so here's just an example of that. You slide the book under the bar there, you line it up uh, so that the tape is going to go over. Um, we're going to push the book in a little bit there because if we just put the tape in the way it was, it wouldn't have covered that label there. And you just want to carefully pull the tape down. Make sure you're covering all labels. You don't want to go all the way to the edge. You want to you want to leave a little space there because if you go to the edge, you're going to go over it. You could take it down near the end and apply the tape. Um, and then you're going to want to make sure it goes on nice and smooth on that first surface. Basically, it's going onto three surfaces, the back of the book, the spine of the book, and the um, front of the book. And you're going to do those surfaces one by one and make sure it gets um, very tight and flat on all of them. So, and you want to, again, make sure there's no tape hanging over the edges. You can't see this one very well, but this is an example of where tape is, is hanging over the edge because it went too far. That's not what we want there. Uh, you want to flatten out the tape carefully. Get rid of any bubbles or creases. That's what the bone is for. Um, when you do have it nice and flattened out, you can use the, the, um, the razor there to cut it. And then you can remove the book from the sled. And there's a book that's been removed from the sled. And it's ready to go onto the next surface there. And you want to use the table, actually, a uh, table or desk or whatever, to, um, to, to do that, that turning that corner. Because you want to go tightly around that corner and not leave anything sticking out. And they're really the way to do that for sure is to use a, use a flat surface. And, you know, for each surface, you want to make sure no creases or bubbles are left, and it goes around any corners very tightly. So you just want to look it over with each surface you do before you go on to the next one. Make sure you get rid of any creases or bubbles or anything like that. And now it's ready to go to the final surface, and you're going to use the table again for that. You're just going to push it around so that it goes right tight around that corner and flat on the front of the book there. There's, there's the end of that. And you're going to, any bubbles or creases that you have, you're going to want to remove them with the bone. You're probably going to get some at the last stage there. And this is how you, you get rid of them. 
and generally it's not too difficult, it's just a little time consuming sometimes. You always want to, before you get done, you always want to check over the book carefully to make sure there's nothing left in terms of bubbles or creases or anything like that. Uh, paperbacks are done at this point. You don't do anything else. Soft covers are going to get new labels. So that's a paperback that's got PB in the call number. That's finished. Just needs the tape put on. The book on the right is a soft cover, and you're going to see it's got a full call number, so it's going to get a new sticker in the upper right corner of the cover. So there's the new stickers. They come in a box. And you just peel one off and stick it in the upper right corner there. And then you're going to get a pen, find the date the book was added, and put the month and year onto the sticker. You're going you're to write it on the sticker, the new sticker. So that's 1207. So 12 slash 07 there. Okay, so these are finished. Um, so now that you want to put them in a separate pile so that whoever's going to be checking them over, um, librarian or whatever, is going to know that they're finished. So you always want to make sure, it's just a reiteration here, that tape goes on smooth, you know, no bubbles, no creases, and it goes tightly around all the corners. Um, and it may be a little difficult at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's not, not that hard. And that's about it.